Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.2. Now we're currently on beta 2 and it's looking great. This update is really, really amazing. We had a lot of new features with beta 2 and we have now even more that have been discovered that are pretty cool. And in this video, we're going to talk all about that and everything else you need to know regarding iOS 16.2 beta and also some really interesting things regarding iOS 16.1.1 that was released last week to the public. Before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching the video and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please make make sure you hit that subscribe button it really helps out a lot as most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel and let's get started with new ios 16.2 features now first of all if you go to the spotlight search from the home screen and you do searches you will see the search results right here now you can of course delete them one by one like this but now with iOS 16.2 beta 2, what you can do is just force touch on one of them and it will give you the option to actually clear all the results at once. Tap right there and all are gone. There is a change on the lock screen as well. So if you go to your lock screen and you have a focus attached to one of your lock screens, previously you could just tap right here to go into the focuses now you will have to actually tap and hold there and now it will go into focuses so let me just unlock the device here so you tap and hold and now it will show you the different focus modes previously you had just to tap once and probably for like the hundredth time this year apple has again changed here the look when you go to the software update now it was a bold text here saying that ios is up to date they have changed it again so it's now on the lighter mode when you go to the tv app on ios 16.2 beta 2 and you go to a live sporting event you will now find out that the opening and the following buttons have been made smaller now these used to take all the space here now they are both smaller now this will appear only when you go to a live sporting event fortunately we don't have a live one right now but we have the screenshot and you can see the buttons are now much smaller and we have a change here under the Apple Wallet, and this one is for Colorado. So if you go to the, your Apple Wallet and you want to add the driver's license here, now you can actually do the digital ID, driver's license, all that for Colorado as well. So you go right there. We had Arizona, Maryland, and now we have also Colorado. So if you live there, fortunately, you will have now the ability to add your driver's license or state ID on the Apple Wallet app. There is a minor change on the widget of the clock on the home screen as well. So if you take a look at the numbers here, now this is very hard to maybe notice without comparing it to the previous one, but the numbers are actually a bit smaller while the text within it, so the minus nine there and the text for CUP right there will be bigger. So that's basically the city, that's the time zone. So they will be bigger while you will have smaller like numbers here from 1 to 12. There's a change for lookup as well. So if you have a picture saved, maybe of a building, of a landscape or any animal or whatever it works with, you will have these stars right there. Of course, if you tap on it and it says like right here, it says landmark, I can tap on it and it will show me the results. But what I can do now, if the results I believe are not correct, I can go ahead and tap report an issue. And from here, you can report results that are incomplete you can also report results that are inac inaccurate or offensive shown results all of them directly from here so we'll have three different options to now report lookup and this is new for apple music as well when you go to your music app and you go to your favorite artists now you won't have a grid view anymore you will have your favorite artists shown here on the list this is a screenshot from reddit ios beta because I don't use Apple Music, but now if you do, you will have them all on the list. Now, before we move on and talk about iOS 16.1.1, let's take a look here at the Geekbench score for iOS 16.2 Beta 2. So here we have the latest results. So right there, the single core score 1886, the multi-core score 5528. 
like this right here is iOS 16.2 beta 1 and you can see right there we have just a slight decrease on the single core score while we had also a slight increase on the multi-core score so overall performance is actually looking really good with iOS 16.2 even though it's just beta 2 and we have a few more betas to go before the public release. Now as far as battery life goes iOS 16.2 seems to be very stable I didn't have any issues with battery life but I can also say that I didn't have the greatest battery life ever probably it will be around the same as iOS 16.1 iOS 16.1.1 don't expect any major changes the good thing is that over the few days I didn't notice any like draining battery or something like that like things like that can happen of course with beta softwares but it looks to be very very stable even though of course you cannot expect a huge increase of battery life from this beta of course compared to iOS 16.1.1 even though we have again a few more betas to go before the public release for which we're going to talk about in a few seconds here but again it's looking quite good and now let's move on and talk a bit about the latest release iOS 16.1.1 now that release was only to fix bugs and of course improve iOS. We expected Apple to actually release the satellite calls feature with iOS 16.1.1. That didn't happen even though the settings are there. So if you have an iPhone 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, you go to your settings, you go to location services, and when you scroll down to system services, you will now find satellite connection. Now these are the system services that use your location. This wasn't here previously, but since I was 16.1.1, you will have this new setting right here, even though it basically should be released apple said that they will release it in november probably will be a server based like release they will just add it probably they have the code already on ios they will just release the feature and as you can see the setting is now there and also this is a really interesting new feature that apple has added with ios 16.1.1 but this is currently only available in china and that's the ability to turn on airdrop for everyone for only 10 minutes and of course it will be turned off automatically now this as i said is only available in china right now but according to apple this will come to more places next year so you can expect this feature to hit other devices probably with a new release like ios 16.3 which should be released like in the first of course three months of 2023 or maybe even later but expect this feature to come to all devices next year now when it comes to new releases, I don't expect Apple to actually release any new software before releasing iOS 16.2, which also I believe will be the last update to iOS 16 in 2022. So right now we're on beta 2, you can expect Apple to release another beta probably maybe even today or tomorrow, and then we can expect another beta next week, the week after that another one, then probably on the 6th we might see the RC version while I believe Apple to release iOS 16.2 to the public on December 12th or 13th. These are the dates that I'm expecting Apple to actually release this software update to the public and it's a really nice update. It has like 25 maybe 30 new features or changes until now only with beta 2 we have a few more betas to go. Probably we will have some more and it's looking really really good. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.